All right, guys, so here we are. We got John, Buck, and Hunter over here. And uh, we have a cubby over here, and we've seen some movement. So we got something, we think, but um, getting everything ready. And we're going to walk over on it and see what it is. Uh, this is a cubby that Buck built here. Well, we all we built them all together, but Buck, this was Buck's here. So we'll see what goes on. Stay tuned. Nice deep catch. He ain't going nowhere. Nice deep catch. All right, guys. So here we are. We're almost there. It's literally right there, but John's leading the way. What do we got, John? What do we got? Fisher. All right. Yeah. Bucky got a Fisher. All right, guys. So. Over under on today, well, should have told you this first, but it was 3.5. All right, guys, as usual, we were fighting some GoPro camera issues here, so uh, now we're going to get some good ish batteries here. See what we got. But... Female. Yeah. That's a nice big, that's bigger than. Here you go, you got three chances. Yeah, a little, hey, hey, a little closer before you try. Get right on its nose, push and pull. Push. Close. Get two more. There you are. You only probably need about that. Congratulations, Bucky. That's awesome. There you go. You almost up, bud. Hey, when they grab a hold. When they grab a hold, what? You aren't going to get them. You just got to let right. them let last go. One. Is this the last one? or last, you... you got two tries. That was a. Okay, you get one more. All right, come on. All your pressure on you, Johnny. <laughs> oh, close. Ooh, right, almost. Daddy, get her. All right, guys, so we did connect on a very small little beaver here. But this is the drowner set here that been messed with a couple days and we're setting it again. But that's two. One more good catch. What do you gotta do, John? Uh oh. One more? One more good catch. You're gonna have to dance. What dance are you gonna do? Don't fall in though. So <laughs> you're doing the cold water dance that way. But as always guys, we're running behind uh John and Hunter here are gonna go do a little pheasant hunt and maybe get us some more bait for our cubbies and me and Buck are gonna go run a little bit of light and then we're gonna meet up and hopefully we'll see you later with some catches. Stay tuned. All right guys, so we connected again. Cole, it's your fisher, you wanna tell the story? Your fisher today. Uh, uh wood set, we were down, we had a big stump, dirt hole set. Uh nothing special. Pulled up there this morning and he was in it. Nice man. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So Fisher number three. Yeah. Let's Dinner get one gone. more. Yep. So we got a couple Merry more fishers. Happy early, early, early yeah. present. Yeah. Yes, we got a couple more scouted out. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah, so walking up on uh one of these beaver sets down here. Do we need the camera or not? No. Oh boy. How you miss some air? I don't know. Our dive stick's gone. There's his toe marks. Where? Yeah. That's got to produce a venom at some point. Go check that other one, Cole. Let me think. Okay. This is sort of annoying. We, we had a uh, blockage there. You can see where he climbed over our block. We had a block there. We had a dive stick. We had him stuck in the ground. Yeah. He knocked him down. He didn't care. Yeah, and then we there is a 3:30 right there at the bottom of that stick, guys, and like it's a it's a perfect spot. I mean, it's slam dunk. I don't I don't think these beavers have been trapped yet. If they could, that may be the issue.
We thought we had a miss. All we seen was the trap, guys. But we got a we got us a big old Ricky here. And we're actually pulling this set here today, so. Um, yeah, watch yourself. Even you're in the drag line right there, so. Come back behind. All right, we're gonna take care of this guy, and we'll get back to you. All right, guys. So down here at the beaver traps, nothing in them, but. Um, I thought for sure we'd have one here today because of the, we caught that little kit yesterday and I thought for sure mom and dad would be out looking for her, but nothing. Still with just two catches. Let's see if we can get the hunter falling in here. <laughs> Did you check the other ones, Buck? No, I didn't want oh, okay. the other one. Yeah. Well, let's walk down here. Who wants to walk in? Not me. <laughs> Here's the way you go. All right, though. Go ahead, buddy. All right, guys. So what I want to do here is when I get these guys alone, I try to, uh, you know, give them a little bit of a minute to tell us a little bit about themselves. So here we got Hunter. Hey, I'm Hunter. Uh, been trapping quite a while. We just like trapping a little bit of everything. Uh, been trapping with Buck about three, four years. Cole and Dalton are just getting started. Last year, Dalton got his first fisher. I can't remember, Buck, he's got a couple fishers. So we knew we heard Jake hadn't got a fisher yet and a gray fox and we scout around for him, find areas to set. And so far, today's the 24th, we've got three fishers and a couple grays. So, yeah. and we set a little bit of everything. Like I said, we got a couple beaver sets, maybe a mink set, a muskrat set and a couple fox sets. So we always have a good time. We don't get too excited. So we're glad to have Jake along with us. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be part of this, Absolutely. man. This is, uh, all right, guys. So we got something bounce around. Let's see what we got here. Pull up on it. Merry Christmas, everybody. Christmas day. What do we got? Christmas day, another gray fox. Christmas day gray. Nice. That's a nice one. That's a pretty one. All right. All right, we'll you guys see what this guy is and we'll get back to you. All right, guys, so got a gray fox here. <laughs> Cut deep. All right, guys, we're going to take care of this guy, and we'll get back to you. I don't have a new fox. So we got Hunter doing a remake here. and What was this set originally, Hunter? This was a dirt hole. Okay. Uh, a little bit of red fox land lore. So uh, what we'll do, we'll just make it almost into a urine set once we're done. We'll get some of this stuff and pile it right behind. Yeah, the sun's there already, so... All right, guys, so I'll show you what looks like on the finished product here, but uh, like I said, it's Christmas Day, so we're trying to rush along best we can. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, you know how that goes. Whenever you want to rush, there's always catches, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so there it goes. Finished set. Just uh, put a little bit of backing back here and a uh, little yarn. Maybe another gray tomorrow. Yes, sir. So, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas everybody. Stay tuned. All right, guys, you ain't gonna believe this, but I think I connected on my first fisher here. I had a Yorn post set right out here on this road. And yes, sir, we got nice. a fisher. That's mine. There we go. <laughs> awesome. We have a gun. Yeah, we, we do have a gun. It's on the back seat. My first fisher. Um, beautiful. All right, we're gonna take care of this guy and uh, we'll get back to you. He's like some light coward, isn't he? Well, I'm inside, beautiful, yeah.
All right, guys. So I'm up here back. It's Christmas Day still. I'm up here on the uh, north side of the line. I'm um, left the boys, but um, once I got back up here, I was a little early today, so I stopped to camp and I uh, watched some of the video that we took earlier today. And uh, one thing I want to apologize for is I'm really not getting a lot of footage of these animals in the trap. And um, you know, it's not that I'm trying to avoid that footage at all. It's just the fact that um. Usually I'm by myself and there's a little bit of time to think things out. When I'm with a group, you know, we're sort of doing things as, you know, to keep everything moving efficiently because we do have a ton of traps to check. So um, I'm sort of missing out on a little bit of that. But um, one thing I want to say is um, I want to thank Hunter and Buck and um, all the guys, Cole and uh, Dalton and um, John, Aaron, Mike, everybody, you know, um, I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. I mean, you know, this is awesome. I mean, I was going to come up here and run a run my little line here and then you guys reached we we hooked up and um i'm glad we did this because it's been an awesome um awesome adventure really um got a couple more days and then we're going to be pulling all of our sets because fisher season does end and then i'm going to continue running for bobcat and some coyotes up north here for a little bit and then i'm going to head down south but um so i still got some things coming up here but um one thing i will say is that um you know we're, we're being so successful because um you know scouting um hunter buck and those guys they did a lot of legwork that, that I wasn't part of because I joined in late, and um, next year I'm going to be part of that. So um, we're going to be we're going to be going a little bigger next year, um, you know, hopefully. Um, but um, this was uh, this was fun so far. Um, looking forward to what else it brings too. Um, you know, I'm I'm overwhelmed honestly. Um, you know, um, it's an experience that um, you know I couldn't be more grateful for. So, all right, guys, let me get out on the line. It's Christmas Day, and uh, we might have some more catches. So. All right, I just wanted to get that out there too. So, all right, thanks everybody. Merry Christmas. All right guys, so here we are, Christmas day again. So, um, I'm gonna show you typically what I'm looking for here. So, I'm trying not to blow my spot here, but as you can see, I'm on an intersection of a pretty good intersection here. There's really nothing down there besides some, uh, <clears throat> looks like they were digging at one point slag or something, little quarry type thing here. But, a lot of sign in there but nowhere to really get drags i mean you're gonna be a hard time for a drag to dig in there and plus you lose everything so you can't put an anchor so better find these uh coyote prints up you see them but they're coming right up here straight up through here and then they go out and they get back on this road and then they go out the road that way so what i did is i did a little yarn post uh yarn post uh dirt hole hybrid type set here so i did dig a hole and i wasn't gonna put the bait in it but instead i just put a little bit of gland down in there and then i put a little fox yarn and then i the scat i find right over the road here i put on just on the outside of my traps um put a little bobcat yarn on that so but um set on sign so we'll see what happens and this is also set up on a drag right there so theoretically when the well workers happen to come by here if they do um the coyote will be up in there out of sight out of mind and i'll be able to reset this so all right improvise and overcome right so that's what we're doing that's what i'm setting a lot like this um you know see if it pays off all right guys stay tuned